Hello friends and welcome to my video series on HSA Mathematics. Today's topic of discussion is exercise 1.1 of Mathematical Logic. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and press bell icon for latest updates. In this video we will learn examples of exercise 1.1. This will help us to identify the statement and its truth value. Expressing compound statement in symbolic form Finding the truth value of compound statement and writing the negation of compound statement. Basic for this session I have explained in previous video. Please find the link given in the description box. Starting question number 1. Which of the following are statement and state its truth value? Identifying the statement and finding its truth value is basic part of the logic. So first question is 5 plus 4 is equals to 13. Remember all mathematical identities, property of geometry, properties of algebra, universal truth are all statement. Check whether it is correct or not. 5 plus 4 is equals to 9 means 5 plus 4 is equals to 13 is statement which is false. Second question is x minus 3 is equals to 14. Since x is variable, thus the statement x minus 3 is equals to 14 is true if x is 17 and false otherwise. It is open statement. And open statement is not mathematical statement. In this context, x is not well defined, hence it is open statement. Question number third is close the door. Again, as we discussed in previous session, exclamatory, interrogative, order, request, suggestion are not mathematical statement. Here, close the door is an order. It is not statement. Fourth question is 0 is complex number. This is a property of number. We know that all real numbers can be expressed as a complex number. So it is a mathematical identity which is true. Hence it is a statement having truth value true. Fifth one, please get me breakfast. As we seen in question number three, exclamatory, order, interrogative, request, suggestion are not mathematical statements. Hence, please get me breakfast is a request. Hence, it is not a statement. Sixth one, congruent triangles are concurrent. Again, as we discussed, all mathematical identities and property of geometry are mathematical statement. Here it is a mathematical identity, hence it is a statement which is true. Seventh is x square is equals to x. Again since x is variable, the statement is true if x is equals to 0 or 1 and false otherwise. Thus the truth value of statement depends upon the value of x which is not well defined. Hence it is open statement and it is not mathematical statement. Question number 8. A quadratic equation cannot have more than two roots. It is a property of quadratic equation and we know all the mathematical identities and the properties are mathematical statement. Hence it is a statement which is true. Ninth one is do you like mathematics? Can you guess whether it is statement or not? Again by definition all these types of sentences are not mathematical statement. It is interrogative, hence it is not a statement. 
the sun sets in west it is universal truth and universal truth is mathematical statement and it is true number 11 all real numbers are whole number it is property of numbers and it is a mathematical statement but it is wrong hence it is a statement which is false means having truth value false 12th can you speak in marathi can you guess the answer yes it is one of these type sentences hence it is not mathematical statement number 13 it is one of the important here x square minus 6 x minus 7 is equals to 0 where x is equals to 7 though x is variable but it is well defined which obeys the quadratic equation hence it is a statement which is true means it is a statement having truth value to moving toward the next question the sum of cube roots of unity is 0 again it is mathematical identity or property of numbers or algebra hence it is a statement and we know the sum of cube root of unity is 0 hence it is a true statement the last one it rain heavily without loss of generality it is a open statement hence it is not statement moving towards second question expressing compound statement symbolically in this question we have to identify two separate statements and connective use to join these two statement question number first nagpur is in maharashtra and chennai is in tamil nadu so first statement is nagpur is in maharashtra say it is p second statement chennai is in tamil nadu say it is q and the connective used between these two statement is and and symbolically we use conjunction to denote connective and so symbolic form is p conjunction q so this is our required symbolic form in second question triangle is equilateral or isosceles so first is triangle is equilateral second triangle is isosceles and connective is or so disjunction is used for or so our symbolic form is p disjunction q third the angle is right angle this is our first statement it is of measure 90 degree this is our second statement and connective is if and only if biconditional is used for if and only if so symbolic form is p biconditional q fourth angle is neither acute nor obtuse so we use angle is acute as p angle is obtuse as q and the connective is add so negation of p conjunction negation of q is required symbolic form in fifth question triangle abc is right angle at b is our statement p major angle a plus c is 90 degree this is our statement q connective is if then and conditional is used for if then so symbolic form is p conditional q in sixth question statement p is x is irrational though it is not irrational we use negation for that q x is the square of an integer and connective is but which is equivalent to and so we use conjunction between these two so symbolic form is negation p conjunction q question number 3 is write the truth value of the following statement it is a two step solution first express the given statement in symbolic form and then use 
ट्रूथ वैल्यू ऑफ कंपाउंड स्टेटमेंट फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन फोर इज ऑड और वन इज प्राइम सो फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट पी फोर इज ऑड क्यू वन इज प्राइम कनेक्टिव इज और सो सिंबॉलिक फॉर्म इज पी डिजंक्शन क्यू द ट्रूथ वैल्यू ऑफ स्टेटमेंट पी इज फॉल्स ट्रूथ वैल्यू ऑफ क्यू इज फॉल्स एंड वी नो दैट डिजंक्शन इज फॉल्स इफ एंड ओनली इफ बोथ आर फॉल्स अदरवाइज ट्रू सो यर बोथ आर फॉल्स हेंस द रिजल्टन ट्रूथ वैल्यू इज फॉल्स सेकेंड क्वेश्चन सिक्सटी फोर इज अ परफेक्ट स्क्वेर एंड फोर्टी सिक्स इज अ प्राइम नंबर सो फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट पी सिक्सटी फोर इज परफेक्ट स्क्वेर क्यू फोर्टी सिक्स इज अ प्राइम नंबर एंड कनेक्टिव इज एंड सो सिम्बॉलिक फॉर्म इज पी कंजंक्शन क्यू ट्रूथ वैल्यू ऑफ पी इज ट्रू ट्रूथ वैल्यू ऑफ क्यू इज फॉल्स एंड वी नो दैट कंजंक्शन इज ट्रू इफ एंड ओनली इफ बोथ आर ट्रू अदरवाइज फॉल्स सो हियर वन इज ट्रू अदर इज फॉल्स हेंस द रिजल्ट इज फॉल्स क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री फाइव इज प्राइम नंबर एंड सेवन डिवाइड्स नाइंटी फोर फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट पी दैट इज फाइव इज प्राइम सेकेंड क्यू दैट इज सेवन डिवाइड्स नाइंटी फोर एंड कनेक्टिव इज एंड तो सिंबॉलिक फॉर्म इज पी कंजंक्शन क्यू सो ट्रूथ वैल्यू ऑफ पी इज ट्रू ट्रूथ वैल्यू ऑफ क्यू इज फॉल्स एंड कंजंक्शन इज ट्रू इफ एंड ओनली इफ बोथ आर ट्रू हियर वन इज ट्रू अदर इज फॉल्स सो रिजल्टेंट ट्रूथ वैल्यू इज फॉल्स क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्थ इट इज नॉट ट्रू दैट फाइव माइनस थ्री आई इज रियल नंबर here not connective is for negation so we use p as it is true that 5 minus 3i is a real number and connective is not that is negation so symbolic form is negation p so truth value of p is false and we know that negation has opposite value truth value as that of given so truth value of given statement that is negation of f is true fifth if 3 into 5 is 8 then 3 plus 5 is equals to 15 so symbolic form is p conditional q and we know that p conditional q is true if first is true second is false otherwise it is true here first is false second is false so false implies false is true so truth value of given statement is true sixth is milk is white if and only if sky is blue so statement p milk is white it is true statement q sky is blue it is true correct you if and only if so symbolic form is p biconditional q and biconditional q is true if both have same truth value so truth value of given statement that is true biconditional true is equivalent to the true seventh is 24 is composite number or 17 is prime so symbolic form is p or q and we know that p or q is false if both are false so resultant truth value is true in question number 4 the statement p q are true and r s are false we have to find truth value of given statement pattern for this we should know the truth tables of compound statement first is p or q and r replacing truth value of p q r using t and f is false t or false is true p implies q or r implies s so t implies t or false implies false so first is true second is true resultant is also true third q and r or negation p and s so t and 
false or negation true false so first statement is false negation of true is false all are false hence resultant is also false fourth question is p implies q and negation r so true implies true and negation f so true and true it is true fifth negation r double implies p implies negation q so writing the negation of false as a true negation of true as a false t implies t it is a false sixth negation p and negation q and r or q and r or p and r so replacing the truth values of the statement p q r and using the truth value of compound statement so t and f is false t and f is false all are false hence the truth value is also false to find the solution of such a type of example we must know the truth tables of compound statement which is discussed in previous session the link is given in description box please follow the link and try to solve these two examples last question of the exercise write the negation of the following first question tirupati is in andhra pradesh here we have to insert a word not at appropriate place so answer is tirupati is not in andhra pradesh second three is not the root of the equation x square plus 3x minus 18 is equals to 0 so here we have to remove the word not so answer is 3 is root of the equation x square plus 3x minus 18 is equals to 0 third question square root 2 is a rational number so again inserting the word not so root 2 is not a rational number fourth polygon abcd is pentagon polygon abcd is not pentagon and fifth 7 plus 3 is greater than 5 so answer is 7 plus 3 is not greater than 5 thank you for watching in next session we shall discuss exercise 1.2 of the textbook for more please like comment your suggestion and subscribe our youtube channel amazing math